Do you know at one point here at the Coleraine Sugar Grounds, how did you see that overall? Um, it was probably twofold, Ian. We were frustrated that we didn't take all three points, um, but a great performance. Uh, I thought we played some really good football. I thought we were very dominant, got the ball in good areas, worked the goalkeeper who I think got, ended up getting man of the match. Um, so I, I, I can't be critical. I just can't be critical of, of, of anything that the players done today. Um, it's just probably disappointed, as I say, that we, we didn't get the ball over the line. What maybe was missing from turning that one point into, into three in the end, do you think? I, I think it, great goalkeeping, if truth be told. Um, I, I think the amount of saves that he made and um, really good saves. So I don't think there was anything in our performance where you're, where you're looking or scratching your head or thinking, could we have done this better, should we have done that better? Um, I thought we dominated possession, as I said. We got the ball in the good areas. And, uh, and we worked the goalkeeper. Um, just not, not that getting that over the line was, was, was probably the only thing that was missing. Start the second half in, in very dominant fashion and then the, the sending off comes. Does that put a, an extra onus or pressure even on us to, to win a, a game whenever you're playing against 10 men but it doesn't always work like it? Yeah, sometimes that can be a bit of a double, double whammy for you. Everybody's delighted that they're down to 10 men but then you maybe start changing your mindset that you have to keep going forward all the time and you have to keep putting balls in the box and now you have to win the game and uh, and, and, and all those types of things maybe, as I say, just becoming the mindset. But having said that, I, I thought we managed that part very, very well. I thought we continued to try and play, we continued to try and work it in the good areas and um, say everything but the goal. Another clean sheet on the other side of things as well, coming away to a fellow top six side and, and the, the number of clean sheets just keep adding up over the season, don't they? Yeah, listen, uh, we, we we work very hard out of possession and we, we work very hard as a team to to keep other teams at bay. Um, and I think we showed that again today. Um, but we got to pick ourselves up now and um, they're, they're disappointed boys in there. Um, they want to win every game. And But as I say, it's just that's football. And it's a, a five-point cushion uh, with, with five games left. Certainly if we'd have been offered that scenario at the start of the season, I think we'd have been relatively pleased with it. Yeah, I think if somebody had offered us uh, game one, five points clear going into the split. But uh, we, we're something that, that, that we don't talk a huge amount about. Um, and people probably don't believe you when, when you say that. But our only concentration was cold rain today, regardless of numbers or people around you or anything like that. And um, our only concentration now is Ballymena, and, and and that's where it starts and that's where it ends. Um, we know that post split fixtures now will start with Glentoran at home on Good Friday, and then we'll go to uh, Cliftonville on Easter Tuesday, and that was just sort of sums up that the nature of the splits, just big game after a big game, but that that's the same for everybody, obviously, and whoever handles that the best, I suppose, will come out on top. Uh, the, the message that we keep talking about here is, is uh, a, this is actually a privilege, whether whether people want to. Believe that, look at that, think about that. This is a privilege. We, for three or four years now, we've got to this stage of the season and we've admired the teams around us because, and probably a little bit envious of the teams around us thinking that's where we want to be. We wish we were involved in those big games and, and now we are um, and we have to enjoy the ride. Uh, this is not something that has to be pressure or people not looking forward to it. It's the total opposite. Um, and, and we want to be here, not just this year, but next year and the year after and the year after. And that's what we want this club to be about. And just finally, uh, we take a break from the league next weekend. Ballymena in the Irish Cup semi-final, obviously another uh, big game, but uh, you know a, a different sort of uh, incentive in front of us, obviously, to, to try to get past and to, to try to book our, our place in an Irish Cup final and, and all the, the excitement that comes with that. Yeah, and, and another game that probably on paper and all the people talking outside at this, Lauren just have to turn up and... All we have to do is look back at the quarter-final last year to realise that that's certainly not the case. Um, Ballymena will be a totally different animal from probably what we have faced all season. Um, we have to make sure that, that, that we take care of our end. Uh, we know it's going to be difficult, we know it's going to be tough. Um, we'll boys will get tomorrow off and we'll be back in and on the beginning of the week to, to prepare for that. Is it difficult playing the same team in, in such sort of quick succession? Obviously, played them last Friday as well, or is it just a, a completely different match, different scenario, final at stake, and all the rest of it? I, I think it's a completely different scenario. I, I think it's one of those situations where, um, as I say, nobody will be looking at the league table, nobody will be looking at what happened the last time we played them. This is a one off game, 90 plus minutes, whatever it may be, um, and winner takes all.
Great. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.